Hello everyone, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. Today we are going to be going over uh, basically reading XML from a file and I'll probably end up having a couple other videos that will talk about uh, writing and doing some other things with XML. But in order to read XML from the file we're going to be using XML Reader today. And you can also uh, read XML uh, slightly different way but this is probably the easiest way to do it. So to start out, I've actually created a little XML file. It's very simple, of course, just person with the first name and last name. This is commonly what XML look like, but of course, a lot more elements in it. Um, in order to start reading, the first thing you're going to need is what's known as an XML reader. And in order to use XML reader, you have to import using system.xml. So go ahead and put that in there so it shows up. And let's name it something like reader. In order to create it, we have to do XML Reader Create. And then we have to give it the uh, path. Uh, it can also be a URL to the XML file. We're just going to go ahead and grab it from here. Make sure it's a string. And we got to make sure that it's not escape sequences, it's actually URLs. Okay, so now that we've successfully created our reader, um, the most common thing you see with XML readers is just a simple while loop since the reader, method, or reader object has a read attribute and what happens is it will continue reading as long as there's another element to read it will return true and if there's nothing else to read it will actually return false so you'll, uh, you'll exit out of this while loop. So just while reader read. Um, so every time we're reading uh, through reader read it actually sets some properties in reader so in order to access specific properties uh, we have to check what's known as the node type and basically the name of uh, the element we're reading so node type would be like person that's a node and uh, a name of something might be first name or last name I'm pretty sure uh, but we can always just check it out so just do a simple if statement and then we want XML or sorry reader dot node type and if we mouse over here we can see it's an XML node type um, so XML node type we want an element and again this is an element because this is like a, a, a head node or something I'm not exactly sure what the terminology is but this is an element so we want to access this thing and you can research to see what each of these XML node types equals. There's actually quite a few. There's document, entity, text, blah, blah, blah. But right now we want elements. So um, let's make sure we use double equals here. And then we also, um, just go ahead and close, close that. And we want an and. Uh, again, reader name, which is, let's mouse over that basically the name of the node and that is person uh, it's the name of whatever this node type is since this is an element it's the name of the element and the name of the element is actually person let's go ahead and close this parentheses finish that so we should only find ones with person and I guess I'll add maybe another one in here uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that uh, just had to have a dog tag so we'll see that it actually will not read this dog one in this if loop okay now that we have done that uh, we actually have to check to see if this element has attributes and these things are attributes um, because we want to actually read those attributes that's where the actual data is being stored so all we have to do is do reader dot uh, has attributes and that's a boolean whether or not it has any attributes uh, if we try and read when it actually doesn't have attributes, it will probably write some sort of, or it'll be some sort of error will be thrown. So after that, let's just go ahead and write these attributes to console. And in order to access these attributes, you just do reader.getAttribute. And it, you provide it, let's see, there's two overloads, so there's two different um, things you can provide. I believe you can give it uh, an index of the attribute, the name of the attribute, and then uh, the name and a URI or URI. So we want to, since we actually know the name, I'm, I'm sure like index 0 might be this one and the index 1 might be this one, but since we know the names, we can just do uh, first name and let's make this a little pretty. And 
and then we want last name reader dot get attribute last name as you can see this is very easy uh to do uh, uh c sharp has pretty good um x m l stuff so let's go ahead and do reline so exit and we'll see if it works. So we go ahead and run it. First name John, last name Doe, first name Sally, last name Lee. So as you can see, it didn't actually read this dog one because uh, if we would have uh, done a breakpoint and like kind of stepped through it, you would have seen that the reader dot name for that thing would have been dog uh, rather than person. Uh, so it actually would have just skipped right over that. And that's how you read through, I guess, XML files that are as simple as this. Now you can have uh, things like, I guess, sub elements and other XML node types that you would just change this for. Um, you can look through all these different things. Um, I'm not, I don't deal with XML very much, but um, there, the most important one is probably document, which is the root, and then elements, which are the things that are sub document. So this would be the document, um, I believe. And then, of course, the reader name. But that's a very simple way to actually read the XML. And uh, let's go ahead and end the tutorial right now. And we can go over writing and doing some other stuff later. Uh, unless I can think of some other stuff. Um, let me see. I don't think there's actually very much I could go over. But uh, let's just go ahead and end it there. Uh, this has been a C-sharp tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and send me a message if you have any other tutorials you'd like to see. Um, again, thank you all you guys that have subscribed. Uh, you are awesome. And this is Quackware signing out.